Dr. Yes, Rudd, probably you you have now you're ready with left man standing and imaging. Hello. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah, you, uh, well, we have. Uh, can you just show the? We just uh, dilated with a 3.5 NC uh, balloon, and after that we put a four synergy four eight synergy stent, and dilated up to 16. And it becomes 4.3. Then we took a OCT using, using the telescope catheter the way same technique we used. Can you show the OCT imaging, please? Give the 3.5. We believe patient was stable for this maneuver. Yes. yes, yes. Yeah. And in the OCT, you see uh, the distal stent is nicely opposed, but just near the ostium. Uh, there is a poor opposition. Just go back to the. Just show the OCT image very clearly because yeah. you can see the distal part the... of the OCT. Yeah, it's coming back towards the ostium. The lumen is ten. Can you go back to the OCT? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Inject. So I have impression you have to perform post dilatation. Yes, with 4.5. Uh, we are planning to take a 4.5 millimeter balloon. It's and already 4.5 balloon is there. Just go dilate it. In the 4.58 or 12. 8. 8. 8. 8. We are dilating the ostium and then uh, deflate it. And. Uh, you want a little dilate more here. Okay, inject. Dr. Rath, what was your yeah. final inflation pressure there? Uh, uh, we, 12, 3.5, uh, 8 millimeter, uh, 12 to 14 out of what balloon is it? It's a, very more. It's a Q force balloon. A Q force balloon. Okay, so, so the angiograph looks very good. What we'll do is we'll uh, use again the OCT and see how it looks. Same technique, just uh, give the uh, give the telescope. Okay, maybe just go ahead and we switch uh, again to Dr. Kumar to Colum uh, Hospital, and then we will come back. To I think uh, we have finished the. I just see last time when we uh, we showed you that. Uh, after uh, putting the four mini four into eight uh, stent in the ostium, there was uh, some places the, the intervascular ultrasound uh, showed that uh, stent is not well opposed. So we went ahead and uh, dilated with four point five eight balloon, with uh, which we went uh, went up to twelve, and after that we took a intervascular ultrasound first. Can you show the intervascular yeah, ultrasound? Yeah, intervascular change? ultrasound is there, like. Uh, yeah, Manoj, can you just escape yeah. it? It's a nicely expanded and well opposed trend. The MLA which we got it is around 10.9 to 11.2 across. And we, yeah. if you see at the ostium, it's nice flare is there. And we'll see last one to two millimeter of struts are there inside the ostium. Then after the intravascular ultrasound, we went back with the OCT using the same okay. uh, telescope uh, technique of using the telescope catheter. To image the proximal part of the ostium of the left main, can you show that OCT image? Yeah, it looks nice. Last, yeah, show yeah. it. Manoj, can you yeah. just describe this? Yeah. The, the IVUS looks really good, and I think uh, the positioning yeah. of that stent is. See the perfect. OCT now? Yeah, you can see the ostium. No, yeah, this, you are not the... showing the telescope. previous one, you saw it, telescope one. Telescope one, yeah. This is the distal left main. Yeah, come uh, on. Yeah, very yeah. smooth. Uh, yeah, and you can see the telescope catheter there. You yeah. can you, you can yeah. see the imaging of the ostium. Yeah. And you can see the telescope there. And you can, after that, you can consider the guiding catheter. So you can image the proximal posterior part of the left main using this technique, I which I demonstrated both pre and post. Mm -hmm. So just show the angiography last uh, rip, And just see the... Just so the 
Dr. Rudd, now what do you plan with uh, LAD? So LAD is... Uh, LAD, you are, our plan is to do integrate the soda, see the angio, just put the spider, see the angio, the, then we are the planning to, it's a very old uh, CT instance restenosis, and we plan to, integrate stump is there, we'll plan for a uh, integrate with, uh, I think we'll take a support catheter, and uh, microcatheter use Gaia 2 and try to cross LAD, try to open it. If not, there is some uh, and, uh, collaterals we can also try from the right, but uh, that will take time. So this is, uh, I don't want to attempt LAD now. We we'll wait for some time and yeah, then yeah. attempt. Now the left uh, main ostium angiographically looks very nice and uh, both OCT and IVS we have shown very nice demonstration of uh, Austria yeah. left main uh, interventions. Okay, no, that, that really my good. question is that the the, the telescope guided OCT versus IVAS, which is more yeah. beneficial? Uh, uh, see the <laughs> IVS you can see, but uh, what I wanted to show that in tele obviously, uh, if you look at the clarity, OCT is superior to intravascular ultrasound. Only thing is in ostium, you yeah. don't see, you will not, technically you will not be able to see, but if you want to see the clear picture, then you can use a, a telescope catheter uh, and do it. It, of course, uh, you have to uh, spend more money to a telescope catheter is costly. So I think uh, technically, uh, ideally, practically, you should go for the intravascular ultrasound. But if you want OCT imaging of the ostium, then you can use telescope catheter by spending some more money on this. Now, that's a great... But clarity is much more with the OCT. So, obviously... Yeah. Dr. Rath, are you planning to do the LED today or at some later day? Today, I'll do it because... But I do not think we'll have time to show this LED, but I'll start uh, uh, doing it today, the LED. If I don't... Uh, I'm not able to cross the LED today, then retrograde we can plan later later date. But today, okay. I'll try the... LED catheter Perfect. is there and we can try it right now. And uh, with this, I think we, ha we have some five, ten minutes left. You have to show it in other places, but uh, I don't think it will be. But I can try now. Give me the ye catheters. So uh, maybe we'll uh, let you work on the LED and circle back with you in a few more minutes. Okay. 